So, if you're interested in the Kendo UI but don't have a thousand dollars for the commercial version, you can get the open source version and I'll show you how to make that work with Visual Studio 2010. So, step one, open up a project and you'll want to open up just your MVC for project. So, here we go. We'll call it uh, Kendo Demo. I'll just make it an internet application. Now there's a bunch of steps online for what to do, but you can't do all of them because these steps are for the commercial version. So I'll show you which ones to do and which ones not to do. And I'll put a link to this page on, um, you know, somewhere on this uh, YouTube description. So scroll down till you get to the part that says using Kendo MVC4. Okay, so step one, create an application. We did that. Step two, add the MVC DLL. Well, we're not going to do that because um, that comes with a commercial version. So we don't have that. So skip that step. Make sure this part's in your web config. Oh, it looks like my Visual Studio is still loading on me. Visual Studio. Anyway, while we're waiting for that to happen, I downloaded from um, you know the Kendo UI website. I downloaded their open source package and I put it right here. So these are the files that we're interested in. getting somewhere. Done. Okay, back to the web page. So make sure this is in your web config and it should be. Yep, here it is. So don't have to worry about that step. It's done for us. Okay, copy the Kendo files from the JS folder into your scripts folder. So this is the open source stuff I downloaded. Here's the JS. I'm going to grab them all and just drag them into my scripts folder. And while that's going on, then the next thing we do is we grab all the uh, CSS files from the style folder and put them into content. So I will go up a level. Man, my computer is lagtastic. Maybe I should hit the turbo button. That would speed things along. Okay, done. I'm going to go up a level. Not that far up. I'm going to go up a level to the style. Grab everything and drag it into my content folder. Content. All right, good. Now, slightly more tricky. We have to add, create all these bundles. So, all we're gonna do is grab all this info, copy it, and then go to App Start, Bundle Config, and just paste it on the end, making sure that we get, we don't mess up our brackets here. So we'll paste it right there. Good. Um, next step is to register these bundles. So we'll grab this info, copy it, and paste it into our view shared layout. Paste it right there. Now it um, asks us to add this reference to the 
um, binary, but we don't have that, right? Because we don't have the commercial version, so you can skip that. There's one important step that I missed. Remove any existing. So when I when I cut and paste those uh, bundles in, the really important step you have to do is get rid of this. Get rid of any. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that. And now we actually have to, you know, do something because I think that's all we have to do. There's no reference. Okay, so now our thing uh, suggests that we do as any Kendo UI HTML extension, but we don't have any because once again we don't have the commercial version. So what I'm going to do is um, grab the calendar and I'll put a, this is just um, you know the Kendo UI demo. So here's I'll grab some of this uh, calendar code and I will paste it into our home index. It's just HTML, so I'll just stick it at the end, and then we'll run it. And much to our joy, if this thing ever loads up, we'll see the basic default screen with a calendar at the bottom. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what's going on there, so I'm going to kill it. Let's try it again. Easy, lemon squeezy. Uh, okay, very good.